Body percussion, hand bone, Pat and Juba dance, tap dance. These are all origins of African influences. And so enslaved Africans who were brought from West Africa to the Americas, to North America, Central America, South America, the warrior drummers who played drums like the djembe, they were not allowed in our country to play drums. White uh, colonizers knew that African drummers knew how to communicate through the drum. So the drum was not allowed to be played. Also, it was part of stripping away, the, stripping away the culture. Those drummers who were not allowed to play the drums, they went back to the body. They went back to that something that's inside, that's inside the soul that speaks to, this is something I want to do. This is something I want to create. This is something that's healing. And, you know, those enslaved Africans, those who I stand on their shoulders, my ancestors, our ancestors, <clears throat> they survived a horrific time in our country. And so body percussion, hand bone, clapping the hands, singing songs on those one days, uh, uh, the one day off during slavery times, this was a way for enslaved Africans to connect, to rejoice, and to say that you can take away my drum, but you can't take away something that I feel inside. And so there we talk about the resilience. There we talk about finding ways to heal from a very horrific and very traumatizing experience. So Hambone grew out of that. 